can I call up to the scales, please, the WBO International Middleweight Championship? Onto the scales, please, the challenger and the British and Commonwealth champion, Billy Joe Saunders. Lily Joe Saunders, 11 stone, 6 pounds. 11 stone, 6 pounds. Please, can I call up some scales? The champion from Dublin, Gary O'Sullivan. Sullivan after he weighed in in Islington after for his uh, fight, massive fight against uh, Billy Joe Saunders for the uh, WBO international title, your title. Uh, so you are the champion. Even though uh, I think he had something to say about that on the scales there. What was he saying? You're no champ in his eyes, or no Irishman's ever beaten him, or what, what was he, said, he saying? He said uh, no Irishman's ever going to beat him. Right. Okay. You know, but he might as well dream on the weight scales. He's dreaming big, right? <laughs> <laughs> so it's just an extenua ex extension of his dreams, is it? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Well, so there was obviously there was no problems with both men making their way to consummate professionals. Two guys, very similar records. It's, uh, almost the same amount of fights, same amount of knockouts. You know, it's, it's, uh, I think you've been a pro for a little bit longer than him, but uh, you know, there's, there's very little in, similar, in yeah. record wise, apart from maybe he's. Uh, Mixed in a better class, I think you probably admit that yourself. You know, he's, he's probably had more opportunities to show himself against better fighters than maybe you've had. Uh, no, I wouldn't necessarily agree with that no? because both of us, our best opponent today, has been Matthew Hall. You know, right? Okay. He got um, eight weeks' notice for that fight, I believe. You know, he got plenty of notice. Yeah, and you yeah. took that very short. I took the short notice. You know, like, yeah. we, we both got the same decision. The unanimous 12 round decision over him. You know, so yeah. Uh, I mean, fight a full training camp for Matthew Hall to beat him inside a distance. You know? Yeah. This is. Without a doubt, your biggest fight of your career. How have you changed anything? Have you put more money into your into your training, and gone somewhere, done something different? Is it, or have you just you kind of taken it as your nor like a normal fight? Like, you? Well, I've had a more notice. The first time I've had a proper notice. Yeah. You know, usually I get a quite short notice, you know. So I've got a lot of notice for this fight. So uh, it's been a longer training camp. So that's what's been different and uh, made the way easier this time. Yeah. Have you been coming up and down to Cork or you stayed in Dublin stayed or Dublin, what? Uh, I've been home once, one day every week, the last day of the week. Yeah. Uh, so uh, sick kids and misses. Yeah. So when did you come over here? Uh, Wednesday. Wednesday. So I mean, not too long, just in press conference and then wait for the weigh in. It's really good. I don't want to be here for too long anyway, you know? So it, there's no way you can't have seen a lot of his fights because he's, he's, all of his fights have been on television and most of them are on YouTube anyway. Yeah. Um, well, what do you what do you what do you think of his style or how do you think if both of your styles will marry? Uh, I think they're gonna knock him out. That's yeah. That's all I think. That's all I yeah. train for. I've watched him. I looked at him. Actually, we fought the same tonight in the O2 arena. Yeah. Um, but two years ago. Yeah, you fight Ryan Clark that Ryan night. Clark yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah. Knocked him out one round too. Yeah. But you know what? I also thought Pascal said to me as well, we're going to fight him one day, you know, we're going yeah. to meet someday. And we've been studying him since then. Yeah. You know, and, uh, I know what i got to do. Yeah. We've studied him well and I know what he's open for. Saturday night, not So that, that, you know, he is a Frank Warren's boy. Yeah. He's uh, Frank Warren talking from the amateurs after the uh, Olympics, turning pro, has basically made a star out of him. And so, do you think there's, not, there's no chance a, British, a set of British judges is going to give you a nod? On a card, on a Frank Warren card in London, in his backyard. So you have to knock him out. 
think so. I don't think they're going to do me any favours, you know. It's good when you said he's making a star of him, you know. Yeah. Saturday night ain't going to knock him star shit. Yeah. Knock him on the deck. You're wearing a t shirt of uh, Marvis Mavlin Hagler. Yeah. Uh, he, he had a habit of knocking people star shit. Is that, is, that, is that your inspiration for this one? Yeah, I believe so. It was like uh, he came to London to fight uh, Alaminter, you know. No one thought he was going to win. The yeah. It's going to be a similar night. Spat on and cursed all the way to the ring and on the way out of the ring yeah. as well. Are you expecting similar treatment? Yeah, well, Billy Joe said he's going to bring 500 gypsies with him and they're all going to jump in the ring. That doesn't scare me. Yeah. You know? Can't get in the ring with him on 12 rounds, you know? Yeah. And they, they're going to, they're behind the action, they're going to get to pick him up off the ground, you know? <laughs> Alright, well, listen, thanks very much for talking to us. Good luck tomorrow, and we see you after the fight, and you're still a champion. Absolutely. Thanks Cheers, thanks very much.